hello and welcome to Walk With Me, where I have the pleasure to walk with you. This is episode 10, Tribe. Let's ouch! So uh, today we're going to take a similar path, walk to a certain point, turn around and come back. I haven't decided what that is yet. You'll just have to uh, wait and see. Let's hope we have some adventures along the way. So in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about tribe. And what that means to me, and you can work out what it means to you. Why was I inspired to talk about this today? Well, it's due to the artist that you're listening to now. Scars and Shadows. I had the privilege last week to interview Pamela from Scars and Shadows. And wow. (laughs) What a beautiful experience it was. What amazing music. We share so many uh, of the same ideas and um, too many to go into in this little short take here. But uh, she is just another angel that walks among us. So what does tribe mean to me? Well, It means a place I feel safe and secure and can uh, express all the parts of me in one place. And for me, I'm sure you're going to a place, you might think a certain group of people is my tribe, but it's not what you may think. I've been involved with many tribes in my life. The main one is music. Music is my tribe. It's the one thing from the earliest age I identify with, being able to express a gamut of feelings, emotions, views, who I am, what I want to achieve, what I dislike. Music's got all of that. It's only a gender is that it exists to bring me pleasure, to help me through sadness, to help me release things from inside. So music is my tribe. It's the one thing I always go back to all the time because it's the one thing that makes me happiest. here on in, when I refer to Scars and Shadows, I refer to her as Pamela, or Pammy. (laughs) When I had her on the show, something she mentioned in the interview was about finding tribe. And I asked her why it seems it's taken so long for people to discover her music, because she's got a vast array of beautiful, amazing music that had been sitting on SoundClick for so long, it seems nobody's even like discovered her and she said that her partner had mentioned that she'll find her tribe and hopefully she has right now well she's part of my tribe now so that's all that's important to me you know what I'm saying but tribe I mean you can make tribe be whatever you want it to be of course what makes you happy but to me Tribe is about a a place of belonging where you know what? 
not all opinions have to be the same. You don't always have to agree on things, right? Because uh, that's why there's a tribal council, because people's opinions differ. The one place there is uh, a sanctuary to express all those ideas, but there's no room for hate. That's the one exception for my tribe. You hate, I'm gonna blow out your tiki torch. Now, being a trans person, you may think that my tribe is trans people. And for a time, maybe it was. But the difference is, just because I'm trans, that doesn't define who I am. Right? I can't control that. It's, it's, it's the brain chemistry. It's, it is what it is. I don't need to go into the specifics to help you understand. As long as I understand, that's the most important thing. So tribe, not really. People with a similar feeling, yeah? Similar lived experience. That doesn't mean that um, that's my only tribe because I don't, don't agree with all trans people. <laughs> not in any way, shape or form. Because that's just who I am and I can't change that. But music is my tribe because music was the tribe I went to when I was young. From the same age I really dug music was the same age I knew I was trans, okay? And music helped me cope in a world where I knew I wasn't allowed to express that side because every time I did, I got beaten down for it. And it was music that helped me come out and change my life. And it was the people in the music scene that I was in who accepted me when I came out. That's my tribe. So, going back to being trans and uh, me saying that uh, that's not my tribe, understand by what I mean by that. Being trans isn't some form of indoctrination, okay? We're not here to indoctrinate your kids, tell you to be trans, and force some kind of agenda onto you. It just comes down to treating people with just respect. If someone tells you that's who they are, just fucking believe them, right? It's not some political movement. It's not anything like that. It's just a simple, don't be an asshole, right? So in that regard, I do have a transgender tribe because many of us feel the same. We're in a tribe where we feel like if we walk outside into the, the bigger, broader tribe, you're gonna throw stones at us. Calm the fuck down. Worry about your own shit, honestly. Okay? Why would I ever wish on anybody to be trans? It's a fucking really hard road. Trust me, you don't want to go down it. I don't wish it upon any child, any person. Yeah? So, is it my tribe? No, it's a similar lived experience I have with many other people who've existed way before I can, time can count. In many cultures it's existed throughout the entire history of the human race. But no, apparently to some people, the trans tribe, the indoctrinating tribe, has only just occurred in the last 10 to 15 years. Cross set of brains, right? Because the one that you have doesn't work. So that's what you think. So you need two maybe to help you. Music is my tribe. And the people who I associate within that tribe are other musicians. And I don't have to agree with their politics, their hatred, which I, you know, don't like. But it's up to them if they want to express themselves in that way and be a total cunt. 
Hey, if that's what makes you happy, go for it. Just don't uh, do what uh, most of those people impose on other people, like towards trans people. You're indoctrinating. Yeah, these are the same people who are indoctrinating hate and vile bullshit onto others. Be like me. Fuck off, I don't want to be a part of your tribe. But music allows you to express all facets of you, who you are, yeah? Your gender, your sexuality, your belief system, your experience. So much of it can be explored with music, right? And there's so many ideas that can come from music. And music can be sad, it can be happy, it can be thoughtful, it can be angry, it can be every gamut of the emotions. That's why it's a wonderful tribe to be a part of. Because whether you like it or not, your emotions are gonna happen. And uh, as long as you understand that and are able to uh, express them in a positive, productive way, then that's a good thing. And music helps me do that. I thought that I'd come back to this place because it's pretty quiet and serene and sit down at my halfway point and have a little chat. I hope you're enjoying the wonderful music right now from Scars and Shadows, also known as Pammy. And she said something in the interview which really struck me about um, her music being sad and almost alluding to it not being, I don't know, enjoyable because it's sad. But, uh, I don't know, I, I, sad music is enjoyable, or melancholy, or dark music, or utter noise, you know? Uh, death metal to, to jazz, and, and fusion, and pop, and punk, they're all vastly different, just like people. It doesn't mean they're any less than the other style of music, just like people, you know? Just because this person's this, or this person's that, doesn't make them any less, we're all people, and unfortunately, live in this world where uh, things are looked at as a weakness. Uh, th uh, there are certain things and people who are determined as weak for their beliefs. Like currently we have a term called woke, where uh, it seems to be this throwaway term for, I don't know, more just being decent. That's what it is. But uh, people have got to have a reason to uh, be angry about something because, hey, I get it, right? We're, we're, we're forced to be angry all the time. They, people want us upset. Uh, this is where sad songs and uh, melancholy songs and dark songs come in because, you know what, they're positive. They, uh, they rise you out of darkness most of the time. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't really recall too many times in my life where I've put on a, a, a song that's been really sad and it's lowered me further down into a depression or something like that. In fact, if anything, it's helped me like release the things that are probably bottled up inside of me and uh, wanting to get out, needing to get out. But this comes back to this um, class of people out there who don't want you to express that. They want you to remain horrible and feel shit and be combative all the time. See, on this channel, I talk about being trans. I try not to talk about a lot, right? I'm not trying to make you uh, believe that it's it's a real thing. I don't really give a fuck if you believe it or not, right? Because I'm living it, so I believe it. It, it. It's happening, right? It is what it is. The, you can't change it. Your idea won't change it, okay? But uh, I can decide if I think you're an asshole or not and walk away from you. So that that's your choice, right? But let me tell you, as uh, somebody who enjoys tribe and enjoys... Uh, sharing people's music within a tribe, even though they may write a song that I don't agree with their politics or their belief system, I'll still promote it, because you're a part of my tribe, yeah? And, and that's your right to express yourself. It's when you're writing a song against somebody saying, hey, hate this person, you can go fuck off. I don't, you're not part of my fucking tribe. The tiki torch, <laughs> blown out, see you later. No, it and it's no skin off my, my uh, teeth, yeah. So, don't feel like, uh, 
just because you write a sad song that it's a bad thing because it could help somebody through a really hard time yeah sad song say so much there you go i love this tribe this tribe here on youtube this tribe of uh, oddball unique artists and people who all have different ideas and concepts and again you, you may not agree with my politics or my belief system it's okay i just i don't want to be combative about it if i don't agree i just won't engage right there's, there's no no point in having an argument about it we're allowed to have differing thoughts the problem is that uh the, the main narrative that we're being driven with is trying to destroy tribe i'm not talking about family values and shit like that because you know blood is thicker than water get fucked don't don't sell me this shit right there's so many people on this planet who have blood that have treated them like absolute garbage and if you watch my interview with scars and shadows you'll hear she came from a life like that and many people who i know have come from shitty families but tribe this tribe that i'm talking about here you know our tribe here on youtube I really love this tribe. I love hearing people express themselves and, 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 and be all of that. But if you're just like coming into a tribe just to break up the tribe and be divisive, then fuck off. <laughs> so express yourself, but do it with respect. As Hippie says, it's kindness and respect and don't be a dick. There's no point being competitive, yeah? We're all trying to get to the same place place of peace and joy and feeling in a contentment yeah feeling like we have some kind of worth feeling like our lives mean something and for me it took the music tribe for me to finally be able to express who I am as being a trans person yeah isn't that a good thing that I can sit here and say I feel okay I feel okay with myself I feel good. I don't need to worry about that aspect anymore. I've moved on. I'll tell you what I wish though. I wish others would move on. Because I get sick of getting dragged back and remembering. You trans, remember bag people? <laughs> I've dealt. Have you dealt with your bullshit? That's the thing. Anyway, here's my mini rant. We're going to get back to walking and we're going to oge. So here we are on episode 10 of Walk With Me. And I just introduced a brand new segment in, because I can. And that was called the Midway Rant. Look, don't take it as me being preachy. I'm not trying to preach to you. I just, uh, I'm so sick of arguing. I'm so sick of seeing arguments. I'm so sick of seeing negativity. I'm so sick of the daily cycle of being fed that we shouldn't be tribes. We, we should be scattered i mean let me tell you a little something about indigenous people they know firsthand about this worldwide they had people come in and scatter their tribes disorientate them confuse them give them misinformation make them angry make them fight and they didn't know why and now look they're constantly trying to claw back some kind of dignity and uh, just equality. Equality's not woke. If you're one of those people who get bent out of shape over somebody like being treated decent and call it woke, then <laughs> you're a joke. <laughs> uh, we're heading home now. One of the things that uh, drew me to Pammy's music, as soon as I heard it, was a, uh, a deep connection to her soul, right? Her scars, the shadows. She's working through shit, like all of us are. And her music is so, so delightful to hear. It's so well put together. There's so much emotion to it and it dragged me in because I'm an emotional human being. It's 
probably why you like it too. You're an emotional human being as well. It's real. And then when she came on the show, we got to see the beautiful soul behind it. Constantly toiling away, creating her music, never giving up hope. Because it was more than just, uh, I don't know, wanting to be some weird dream of a rock star. It was a funnel to vent, to be creative, to release and share. And um, clearly she didn't give up hope that nobody was really engaging because it was helping her. I look at music exactly the same way. It's ready when it's ready. You can't force it. It's like a healing process. Leaf blowers. They've got to be the laziest piece of shit equipment that ever graced humanity. So it's right about now I'm going to check in with you. How are you doing? You doing okay? I'm doing not too bad. Heart rate of 122 BPM. But what about you? All good? Anything troubling you? Sound off in the chat. Or ask someone else how they are. Don't just say hello. Ask how someone's going. That would be a change. Hello. How are you? <laughs> you gotta love the hellos. I hope you're all doing good, yeah? If you haven't done something good for yourself today, then do it now. No, no, wait. Wait till after this video. I just need to say this. It is a great day to be alive today. Hey, it's my favorite birds, the magpies. Come on, be nice, don't swoop me. I'm just walking through the grass, okay? So at this point of the walk, I wanna share some news with you. I think many of you knew I was heading to the doctors today to get a checkup, get some new meds. Well, I've got some good news. I'm pretty happy, actually. Before I started this, I was dealing with very high blood pressure and um, I'd been put on blood pressure medication. I was really struggling to uh, just do anything during the day. I was always tired. I was putting on a lot of weight. So that's you know, part of the driving force behind this whole uh, idea and to create some content along the way and hopefully inspire other people like you, my tribe. Well, today, I went into the doctors, she took my blood pressure and told me, it's normal. <laughs> okay, fantastic. She told me to keep doing what I'm doing. She can see a vast improvement in my health. I've lost two kilograms in two weeks. I'm blown away. Changed my diet, I'm eating more salads, veggies, a lot of protein, cut out all the carbs. Still having a bit of sugar in my coffee, but that's about it. This is working. I'm a believer. It's just um, made me come away thinking, go harder, get stronger, get better. My doctor also told me, in relation to me like blacking out or falling asleep in the kitchen, she reminded me, go to fucking bed. Get some sleep. <laughs> she just believes I was overtired, which I know I was. My eyes were drifting while I was working. I was trying to keep myself awake. I'm just bombed. But she's got a point, get to sleep. And today, I actually had seven hours 
that was pretty cool. I got everything done, had a late dinner as usual, and then went to sleep. Sleep's important. Did you know that? Well, now you do. So hopefully over the coming weeks, I'll keep that in my head and try and get more sleep. So being a part of this tribe, I'll tell you what I get from it. Not only great music, a better understanding of people and being able to uh, accept our differences, but also I see achievement, I see victories, and I see the bad times too. And um, I see people overcome. And uh, today's music by Pammy. She's overcome heaps. I encourage you, go back and watch the interview. It was fucking amazing. I'm not saying that because I did it or anything. She's amazing. Yeah, her music's sensational. And her story is beautiful. Fighting back against adversity, against mistreatment, people being assholes, and uh, using music to do it. Having a supportive loved one in her life that continually reminded her that she'll find her tribe, and she has. We are your tribe. Welcome. <laughs> so I'm always encouraged by uh, hearing people's stories and hearing how they've overcome them. And uh, I do suggest you uh, check out the interview and uh, check out her music. Links below and all that jazz. We're almost here. Whew. Almost four kilometers today. I didn't expect to do this much today because tomorrow I'm taking two days off. Because I've got to finish two very, well, one very important project in the next two days. So wish me luck, please. I'm gonna need it. Well, here we are at the end of episode 10 of Walk With Me. And I'm so glad that I got to walk with you today. My tribe. I'm so happy to have been playing the fantastic music that you've heard today from Scars and Shadows. She is a beautiful soul and somebody worth investing in and welcoming into our tribe. I'm gonna be taking two days off. I'll still be doing live streams, but um, I'll be around, I'll be watching. So I'm gonna sign off. I'm glad I'm a part of your tribe. Do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we'll all rise together. Now let's ooge!